Hello, welcome to Bunny Ballistic. It's Tommy here, and we're gonna do a, another ammo test today. Uh, I figured we'd have a little bit more fun today. We're gonna do um, three different calibers of the same ammo, and uh, three calibers that I have: nine millimeter, three fifty-seven sig, and forty Smith and Wesson. And yeah, so let me get into that, and we'll start showing you, and we'll try and get to this quick because this is probably going to take a little longer than normal, okay? And as you guys can see today, uh, we are doing uh, Golden Sabers. We have our 9mm, 357 SIG, and 40 Smith & Wesson. So I'll give you just, if I can do a quick close-up of each one. And you can see each one of them is actually um, sealed too, which is really cool. And you can actually see that, uh, sorry, they're actually different too. And then you can see this guy's uh, sealed as well. And then we have the 40. And each one is actually a little different. These are all bonded too, okay? So these aren't the old ones. So hopefully we get some, uh, some neat stuff. I like these. All right. So let's get straight into our um, chrono testing. Uh, three shots each. Hey, I just wanted to add this in for fun before we get started. So I got my chrono back, as you guys can see, and I got these lights for it. So the lights only came with an AC power adapter, like a wall plug. And they come with instructions to say, basically, to cut it and attach it to two 12 volts. So I used the multimeter, and this was making 20. So... Let's see, I tested it at home, hopefully it works. You can see the lights come on. And people say that this works really well since it's an infrared light. So, let's see how it is. I agree though, fucking janky. But, shit, it works. Okay, back to the video. Alright, so for our 9mm, we're going to be using my uh, 365XL. It's about a 4.5 inch barrel, including the comp on there. So, um, I haven't been saying that in video, so, so everyone knows it's about four and a half. Um, the original ba ba uh, barrel is about three seven. So, if you want, I can start doing some tests with that as well. And then, uh, just to show you all again, we have our golden saber in here. We're going to be doing three round tests. And I also have this new 17 magazine. Uh, okay, anyways, we'll get to it. Thanks. Alright, guys. We've got our 9mm Golden Sabers, uh, 124 grain plus peas. And then I also have my little uh, bullet guard. I'm sitting down today because my leg is killing me. For those that don't know, I was in a car wreck a little over a year and a half ago. And yeah, still recovering. So let's see how this goes, guys. Hopefully this works inside and I, you know, don't shoot my chrono again, right? 1198 1116 and 1179 very nice now we have our uh, sig 357 sig coming up next these are uh, 125 projectiles, or 125 grain, I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, and we're shooting it out of my P222, uh, P226. It's been a long week. And uh, this is about a four and a half inch uh, barrel. And we're just going to do this single action. Hopefully uh, nothing blows up. Oh, I forgot my. So 1378, 1359, and 1346. Very nice, very nice. All right, and now we have our 40 Smith and Wesson. Uh, 
165 grain. This is again out of my P226, and I remembered my uh, <laughs> my cap here this time, so I don't have to go chase my my ammo down this time. Let's see what we get, shall we? 1066. All right, so this is after all our tests. I like this guy, but we have all six of them penetrated our first block and went into our second block. And so our first block we know is about, you know, 13 to 14, depending on where it's shot through. So let's see, these first three on the bottom, there, if you can tell, um, little harder to see. These are our non-denim shots right there. Let's see if I can get a little bit of light. So those three. Right there. So that's our nine. Three fifty seven and forty, and the nine. Ooh, we're about fifteen and a half with that one. Three fifty seven's about what? Oh, sixteen and a half maybe, and the forty we'll say like sixteen. So all of those are really good, and then we have our denim shots here. 
These are a little out of order though, so let's see. I gotta re remember where is that. Okay. This one is our 9mm. And that one's about 17 and a half. Not terrible. This is our 357 And unfortunately, I didn't notice this till now. That we actually, if you can see right there, we accidentally hit this bullet and you can see it bounced. So that's not the fairest of those shots. And um, I didn't notice till right now. And as you can see, my gel block um, is pretty full. So that is unfortunate. And then uh, this guy is our 40, which crazy enough, and I'm pretty sure it's because of that bounce it took. The 40 went 21 inches, which is really, really, really far. But, um, yeah. What do you guys think of these? I like these. I carry these in my 40 and 357, so I was definitely interested to see how they worked. Alright everyone, so we're going to try and go through this quick, because we kind of have a decent amount of bullets. So this is our 9mm, and this was through the bear gel. I got a little, a little B marked on it just to make sure. See, it expanded fairly well. Granted, you know, bear gel. So let's see also. Oops. It's supposed to be 124. Alright, nice. And then we have our 9mm uh, through the uh, denim. And as you can tell, that did not expand nearly as much. But it still did a fairly good job. And that kept pretty much everything as well. And let's go to our 357 SIGs. This is our bear gel, and this guy expanded a lot, as you guys can tell. It probably lost um, a decent amount. Uh, let's compare it to this, which is through uh, denim. As you can see, it expanded close, but not the same. I mean, never mind. It's not really that close, is it? But, uh... Yeah, that's our 357. This is our bear gel one. It should be 125. And I figured that these lost some. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And now let's move over to our Smith & Wesson 40s. And I wasn't expecting this. These kind of are just made different than the other ones. And I, I guess it's, it is 40, but, and then you can see the one through denim, which didn't expand, you know. I mean, it expanded fairly well, but not nearly like the um, bear gelled one, which um, you can obviously tell during the test. You could see that our, our Denimed one went very far compared. These are supposed to be 165, so that is pretty dead on there. And that is pretty dead on as well. All right, and now we will get some measurements. All right, and then we have our nine mil bear gel. Five, seven, six. Six on the dot about. And five, nine, three. Okay, and then we will do our denim one here. And five, six, eight. Five, eight, three, five, 
331 about. Oops. And we have our 357 SIG. And this was our bear gel. 67. 607, excuse me. 645. If we go from this actual little guy over here, let's see here. 635. And let's see, 357 denim. 631. 645, 647, here is the 40 with a uh, bear gel, 651, 667, 638, here we have our 40 through denim now. And we have 642, 652, and 633. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the um, Golden Saber tests. Um, I have a lot more tests to come. Um, and I already have another one uh, filmed for the most part. Just need to edit for uh, later this week. And yeah. Um, I hope if I missed anything, you guys just let me know. And maybe I can add it to another video real quick or a short. And, um, you know, please just sub and like. That's really all I am asking for at this point. Um, I do have a Patreon listed, but, um, you know, I'm not expecting a whole lot. I'm not, like, huge or anything, so I get it. But I hope you guys are enjoying my content. And, uh, like I said in my unboxing video, if you guys want to see maybe a live video of this room, which is my, my little reloading slash casting office almost, let me know and maybe we'll set up a time to do that. Um, but otherwise, uh, I hope you guys have a great night and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, love y'all. Bye.